Well, I'm a retired U.S. Air Force Colonel uh, Billy Bearden. I'd like to share the summary of uh, Taiwanese commentator Dr. Koh's 10 predictions released on January the 1st, 2023. Now, here are his 10 areas of predictions. They're not mine, <clears throat> there is. Number one prediction, Ukraine-Russia war will have a ceasefire in May or June after a critical and bloody winter conflicts. It's a tragedy and not optimistic. Russia has allied with Belarus that has some 200,000 soldiers. Meanwhile, Russia will increase its force from 1 million to 1.5 million. Now, Russia has 1.5 million in a, this war period and threatens to use nuclear weapons. The EU and Poland and three other Baltic nations continue increasing their military force and support of Ukraine. President Biden has no desire to stop this war since he invited Zelensky for more congressional funding and for personal reasons. That being the possible investigation of his son and his own re-election, of course. Number two, <clears throat> the prediction. China will benefit from its economic growth in 2023. It's believed that it will lead the world economy with 4.5 to 4.6 percent growth, while federal est uh, estimate, uh, we, the U.S., only has about 0.5 to 1 percent growth. The European nations will have minus 1 percent to 1 percent growth. Basically, the gro global economy will be led by Asia, including China, and India and other southeastern uh, nations, minus four to uh, four point two to four point six percent. China's uh, foreign policy will also have a new direction, including diplomacy of heads of states. Putin has extended an invitation to Xi Jinping to visit Russia in the spring. Between the first and third quarters, many foreign leaders will visit Beijing starting with uh, the Philippines, France, Australia, Korea, Italy, New Zealand, Brazil, and more. Why? For very practical reasons, the economy. Recent open tourism after COVID in China have given many nations hope for their economic recovery. Prior to COVID, China had approximately 169.2 million outbound overseas travelers. Three, the economic cooperation between Russia and China, 60% of Russia's foreign reserve is in China, RMB. China is investing in policing or replacing the sanctioned business entities of Russia. Russia will open a special economic zone of 7 million square kilo miles for China with an estimate uh, of 160 billion U.S. dollar investment with, from China. That would include mining, agriculture, energy, electronic parts, infrastructure, and auto manufacturers. <clears throat> Many Chinese farmers have already migrated to Russia. By March, if the war is getting worse, Xi's visit to Russia might have certain influences toward a ceasefire. Number four, China creates new global orders. A. The BRICS organization, consisting of Brazil, Russia, and India, and China, and South Africa, will uh, enlarge its membership with eight to ten more nations, including Saudi, Iran, and Egypt. B, another one multinational group is organized by China as the Shanghai Economic Cooperative. This might become the first international organization that provides a platform for Saudi and Iran to engage at a certain level of dialogue. It will have a great impact on the Arab world. C, a forum on One Belt and One Road initiatives will celebrate its 10-year formation. D, China's free trade agreements with Arab Gulf states will be signed in this year. After the newly elected president of Brazil, Lulu's China visit this year, the three major South American nations, Argentina, Brazil, and Chile, will have a ripple effect with more e economic ties with China.
China, item E, China, Japan, and Korea are forming a free trade agreement to enhance better trade relations. F, the code of conduct of South China Sea might be reached among Southeast Asian nations with China. So far, China and Vietnam have reached agreement. Xi Jinping also had a dialogue with the Indonesian president at the G20. Malaysia always has good relations with China without major issues. The Philippines, the president, visited China with a large delegation between January 3rd and the 5th. This will benefit the resolution for the economic zones in the South China Sea. Number five, the conflicts between the U.S. and China and the South China Sea most likely will increase, including a recent near collision of our reconnaissance plane and a Chinese fighter. Item six, divided America between the two parties and within the Republicans. GOP-controlled Congress will take a tougher position against China than the Democrats and investigate Biden's son and Biden's disorderly military withdrawal from Afghanistan. A. Prospective House Speaker Kevin McCarthy will visit uh, to Taiwan and will surely provoke China and cause more conflict. DeSantis will run for president and may visit Taiwan prior to his announcement. I can see Democrats will sue Trump. That's not mine, but Dr. Cole's idea. Biden will uh, announce his re-election bid so he can continue the war in Ukraine to benefit himself. Out of seven, the whole war between the U.S. and China will intensify. Yet, China's GDP will reach 80% of the U.S., the usage of uh, RMB will become popular. U.S. technology war will go beyond semiconductors, but the anti-China policies often cracks due to the damage of U.S. high-tech companies. China will be tougher toward the U.S. surrogate attackers, Australia and Japan. The U.S. Uh, superpower is weakening. China has eight to ten times that of uh, U.S.'s growth. Many nations will have new policies of separating their politics and economy toward the U.S. The rise of, of Chinese RMB. American uh, people will challenge the trade wars for 20 to 25% tariff. High tech will challenge the policy, and pro Western leaders' status has dropped 22% for Korea and Japan, 27%, Hong Kong, 30%, Germany, 31%, and UK, 33%. Uh, percent. Both Japan and UK are obviously going down. On the contrary, India's uh, Modi, seventy-eight uh, percent. Australia, uh, Austria, I around them, fifty-nine percent, and uh, Italy, fifty percent. So obviously, nations focusing on their people's lives and economy are better off than those immersing in ideology. IPF is not functioning. Uh, Arab and Latin America are leaning toward China. Number eight, UK's prime minister will step down this year due to inflation and poor GDP. Victory of Scotland's independent referendum on October the 19th may inspire Ireland's independence. Uh, King Charles's popularity will also drop. EU will collapse and be divided due to inflation, poor economic growth caused by energy crisis and exit of companies to other nations. Those nations that focus on ideology at the expense of people's lives will suffer more and cause division. Item 10, 69% of Japanese people are against tax increases for military force in order to comply with the U.S. military strategies. They also have missed the electrical vehicles trend, so their auto industry representing four out of 10 of the largest companies will drag down their nation's GDP. These are the 10 predictions of Dr. Cole, and not mine. Let's see how many of these will be fulfilled this year. Wish you all a positive 2023 regardless.